eastern seaboard of the United States, off the coast of North Carolina, there's a place known to mariners far and wide as the Graveyard of the Atlantic. More than 2,000 shipwrecks and several hundred lives lost over the past hundred years or so. Infamous for its treacherous currents and shifting shoals, with the constant reshaping of inlets, bays, and capes, it's no wonder this is a final resting spot for thousands of ships, submarines, World War II boats, and shipping vessels of all kinds. It has now claimed its latest victim, the 72-foot scallop fishing boat, the mighty and sturdy Ocean Pursuit. The morning sea is dark and calm, until the light of the sunrise appears as a heavenly host, right on time to paint the vast seascape with brilliant colors and sparkling crystals. Storms can and do appear seemingly on a moment's notice. Winds out of the Northeast are especially brutal and cruel to maritime visitors. On the night of March 1, 2020, the warm waters of the Gulf Stream and the cold waters of the Arctic Current converged off of Cape Hatteras at Diamond Shoals. Such was the fate of the ocean pursuit, which was violently pushed ashore, eventually grounding itself. Even at high tide, sitting in just a few feet of water, a mere 50 yards off of Bodie Island, she was stuck. There are many characteristics of the sea, but the one which is most certain is she chooses her victims at random, completely ignorant of status, wealth, heritage, or creed. The sea, together with Mother Nature, is the true master, alternating between vicious two-story high waves during storms and conversely calm seas when conditions can change quickly. Many photographers and curious onlookers flocked to the haunting side of the wreck, but one in particular was Wes Snyder, a local Outer Banks professional photographer, who decided to document the slow demise of a once proud fishing vessel. Wave by wave, tidal surges high and low, and grains of sand piled high by a monster oceanic bulldozer. Slowly but surely, the beach devours its prey the life long squeezed from its core by the removal of all equipment, fuel, and rigging. Now, several months later after the grounding, she is vanishing below the surface, and hundreds of tons of sand are filling the cabins and the holds which used to store the sea's rich bounty of scallops. Each tide cycle brings in a plethora of seawater, which makes the sand soft and malleable, thereby sucking the boat further down into its sandy clutches. One day soon, it will most likely sink all the way down, vanishing from sight, and only the rare tidal occurrences along with the wind over the next few years might reveal what once was a viable ocean-going vessel. This shipwreck, as tragic as it is, seems destined to retreat to its watery grave in a cemetery with no markings or headstones. The Outer Banks of North Carolina's very own Graveyard of the Atlantic, final resting place of the ocean pursuit.